Hi, so I'm going to show in this video how we can run a two-way ANOVA using the SPSS. So as you can see here we have a spreadsheet with the two variables genotype and age and the data. Uh, so we need to go here and analyze and general linear model. We can use uh, the univariate ju and just run one at a time. Here we have the sound and then fixed factors by two variables, genotype and age. We don't need to change anything here and in contrast nothing changes also. Okay, I don't need the graphics. This is to plot the graphics. Um, and then the post hoc. Uh, if I choose this one, it's going to give me the post hoc for each of these. But I wanted the post hoc for the interaction between them, right? A two way and off. So it's not this the case anyway. I can select just to show how it works. I'll continue. Um, and then here is the interaction and it's going to run the LSD. There's no other, uh, there's uh, the, also the option of Ponferroni and CDAC. We can keep the LSD. Uh, and the option descriptive statistics and that's it. Let's do, uh, click in OK to run. So as we can see the results that uh, the and with with this one is that uh, it's showing me here the difference by genotype that is not not significant here as you can see the univariate test by genotype alone or by age and also has all the and uh, this the p values here for the ages and um, for the genotype. But it's not giving me the interaction between them, right? Um, if we return there to have it, to be able to have this, we need to return there and ask for the syntax. So if you click in paste, you're going to have the syntax of the code. And as we can see here, it's not showing the post hoc for the interaction. So we just needed to type this part there that I have already prepared here. So now um, I'm going to run genotype by age and compare LSD by genotype and genotype by age compare LSD by age. And we need, just need to click in here in this run selection. Okay, so now the result is totally different. As we can see here, we have it by genotype and by age as the previously. But also we have this number 4 and number 5, that is genotype by age and genotype by age. In the first case, we have when it's 6 by, when the num when it's six by age, but... Uh, um, different genotype and also even the the average and everything see the mean and the standard error it shows genotype at six genotype at seven genotype at eight another the other type of genotype at six the other type of genotype at seven and also the significance of all of those is going to show you here. And the same thing the other way. When is this genotype and this age? Or this genotype and this age? So this is much more complete and we have now we have we really have all the comparison possible that all the compare that are possible to have done with the p values for everything. So I'm going to just leave the syntax that should be done here and I hope you understand and have a enjoy the video. Thank you.